Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you three of my favorite places for book summaries. Now, if you're someone like me who struggles to find time to sit down and read a 300 page book, whether that's nonfiction or fiction, then these book summary services are for you. The challenge isn't so much about reading, but more so you want to get the gist of a, let's say a 300 page book and implement what you've learned. So that's where these book summary services come in. And in this video, I'll share three of my favorite places. By the way, links to all these in the description below. First up, you got Blinkist. This is probably perhaps the most established and most popular book summary service. It has about 4,500 titles and they add more and more on a regular basis. It's predominantly text and audio based. So if you rather read it as opposed to listening to it, then they have those options or if you uh, prefer to listen, then they also have that option. The categories that you'll find are things like entrepreneurship, management and leadership, psychology, money and investment. So predominantly non-fiction. The pricing comes at $6.99 per month paid yearly or $19.99 on a monthly basis. And with the premium subscription, you get access to all of the titles. Once you have an account, this is what the back end looks like. If you go to explore, you can go directly to the category that you want. So let's say entrepreneurship. Browse through the book summaries like you see here. So let's say this one here, I wanna click that. And it gives you this summary of how long it'll take to read. In this case, it's 15 minutes and there's audio available. Click add to library once you wanna start reading the book. So I've clicked that. Now I can click on read now. On the left, you can go back to your library or you can go to the contents of the things that you'll learn. These are called blinks or in other words, ideas taken out of the book. The way that Blinkist works is usually with the first page, it gives you a summary and what you'll learn. So in these blinks, you'll discover these three points and then you can just move on to the next blink. At the bottom here, you can click play and that'll read out loud the text on that particular page. If I click next blink, that'll start with the first blink or idea. What I can also do is highlight any text I want. So that's a great thing about using these book summary services. So I've highlighted that and then I can just click on the highlights icon and then that will highlight it. All your highlights go into one place. If you go back to your Blinkist account and then go to highlights and all your highlights will be featured here by book or by date. Blinkist also comes with a mobile app. So if you have like an iPad or a mobile device, you can also download their app and it integrates all together and log into your account like so. And I can go to my library and just check out all the highlights that are made as well, or I can just explore more books. And essentially I can also listen to it if I'm on the go. What makes Blinkist different to the other book summary services that I'll mention in this video are the shortcasts. So this is a new feature. They've teamed up with podcast creators to bring key insights from particular podcasts. In addition to that, they've got over 4,500 titles at the time of this recording. So there's a large library there for you to select from. The next service I wanna mention is Read It For Me. The amount of titles on Read It For Me is about 300 plus and they seem to not update as much as Blinkist and the other one that I'll name in this video. The standout of Read It For Me is that you can either read it text-based, audio, and sometimes with some popular titles, there's also a video form too. The pricing at the moment for individuals is $9 per month or $99 per year. So it's quite affordable, but at the same time, there's not many titles. I personally have a lifetime account with Read It For Me because I think I took on one of those lifetime deals back then. But here's a look at the back end. You can see some of the titles, some of the ones that you are familiar with too. If you click on one of the titles, so let's say Willpower, you're taken to this page where you can play the summary right away. And for this particular book summary, you can also watch a summary. So let's click on Watch. And there's this little video that you can play just to give you the, an idea. You can see what this looks like and just playing it for a little bit. So. Most of the book summaries are narrated by the same voiceover and I think it's the owner of Read It For Me. In my opinion, the interface could be improved and it's a little dated. So out of the three that you know I'll mention in this video, this is probably the one that lacks the interface. There is a mobile app for it, but I don't recommend it. It's not so great. On the positive, there is a new feature called Action Class, but they now rebranded it to Adaptive. So 
essentially what they'll do is do these Zoom meetings where you can do these interactive learning experiences, going through the book summaries and also doing some of the exercises and creating an action plan for it. All in all, Reader For Me is a smaller boutique book summary service. They do have some of the most popular titles in the entrepreneurship, business, management, and money sort of niches and topics. But, you know, if you do find a deal like what I found for a lifetime account, I think it was about a hundred bucks or so for a lifetime. That's a pretty good deal considering, you know, more titles will be added over time. Now let's move on to the final one and my favorite book summary service, which is short form. Just like the others, Short Form does specialize in non-fiction books. So you can think of things like mindfulness, self-help, uh, entrepreneurship, business, things like that. They have about a thousand plus titles, as you can see. Pricing comes to $9.50 per month paid annually or on a monthly basis, it's $13.90. What makes Short Form different is that they provide a one page summary of a book and also a more comprehensive summary. So you can pick and choose which one you wanna go through. And of course, they have a narrated version of those book summaries. Taking a look at some of the titles, you can see 12 Rules for Life, 21 Lessons for, for the 21st Century, a Brief History of Time. If you wanna read one, you can just click on Read Now. And as I mentioned, there's a one page summary like this one here. If you want the more comprehensive version, you can just click on this, then click on full summary. In addition to that, you can also change the look of the reader. So click on reading settings and then choose your font size, change the font family, choose the line height, margins, things like that. You can also highlight just like Blinkist. So if I highlight, I can now click on the highlight option and then that will highlight and be stored all in the highlights section. So let's take a look at the highlights section. Highlights and notes, and as you can see, this is the highlights or text that I just highlighted. For an audio version, you can click on listen, and the audio play will pop up. You just click play, and that's all. You can also change to night mode, so that'll bring up the black background interface rather. In addition, you can download a PDF version once you're an upgraded member. So click on table of contents and click on download PDF. So for 12 rules for life, I can now download the PDF. And this is the PDF document. So it's downloaded. I can either print it out or just read it from here. Furthermore, what short form provides is an exercise. So you can see here, one of the pages asks, define your problem specifically and some prompts and questions that you can fill out. That way you can get a better learning experience. The reason why I love Shortform is because their mobile app rocks. You can see the interface, it's consistent with the actual desktop version and all mobile devices. What also makes Shortform different is that they have articles that they summarize. So popular articles that are found on the web. So things from Financial Times, Fortune, and you can see. So these are all summarized for you if you don't have t even time to read blog posts. Here's one example, the great CEO exodus of 2020. Here's a short form takeaway, you know, short form takeaway questions and the actual summary. Personally, I love short form just because of the clean interface. The mobile device is very consistent with the desktop and mobile device. You know, where things are like the navigation, the home, the books, articles, and highlights it's on the exact same location. So no matter what device you're using, it's consistent with that. What I also like about Shortform is they are provided with a one page book summary as opposed to a full 15 minute summary that may take that long to read or listen to. And the pricing for Shortform sits just about right at $13.90 per month as opposed to Blinkist, which is $19.99 per month. All in all, I would say that these book summary sites should be treated as that, you know, book summaries. They shouldn't serve to replace full books unless of course that's enough for you. On the positives, I think by reading book summaries, it gives you an idea, at least the gist of a book. And if you find or if it piques interest, then you can go out and buy a full book. And that's what I usually do if I find that I want to read more or want something more elaborated or comprehended a bit more, then go out, use my Kindle or buy the full book on Amazon and read that. Also, if you've read a book in the past and you just can't seem to recall what it's about, you can go and use one of these services to give you that refresher. Finally, what I love about these book summary services is that you can highlight any text that you find of value, of interest, and then that'll all be compiled into one page and you can categorize it at least with Blinkist and uh, short form by book or by date. That way I have everything centralized in one location. 
Now over to you and out of curiosity, what is your most preferred learning style? Is it auditory, you learn through podcasts or audiobooks, or is it visual like videos on YouTube? Or is it text-based like articles and blog posts? Or is it a combination of all of the above? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. So there we go, that wraps up this video. Those are my three favorite book summary services. I do have premium accounts to all three, but if I were to choose one and recommend you use, it is short form. But all three of these services offer a free trial, so go and trial out these three services and see which one you like. Thanks so much for watching, and if you got value from this video, by all means, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this. In the meantime, do watch these next relevant videos.